Few days back, we built an AI-powered virtual assistant using Python and Gemini API, which can listen to your queries and provide responses using the AI. But recently, I felt if someone wants to create a chatbot only, it will take them so long to create a chatbot if they start it from the scratch. But using the AI tools like ChatGPT, Midjourney, they can create a chatbot within few minutes. And in this video, I'm going to convert our Jarvis project into a chatbot using the ChatGPT. And if you're new to this channel or watching this video for the first time, I suggest you watching my recent video on the Jarvis project. You might find it more useful as compared to a chatbot. You will find the link in the i button as well as in the description box. First of all, get your Gemini API key and save it to the same folder where you want to create the chatbot. And if you're not sure how to create or how to get the Gemini API key, I have explained it step by step in my Jarvis video. So you can take help from that video as well. And if you want to learn how to convert this chatbot into a mobile application and make money out of it, do let me know in the comment section. I'll definitely try to make a video on this topic as well. And now let's go to the laptop screen and get started. So this was the Jarvis project I was talking about. And now we have to convert it into a chatbot. For that, we'll copy this code, go to your system and open any browser. I'm using Chrome browser. And in the chat GPT, you have to type your first prompt, which is analyze this code and then provide the entire code. Once you press enter, you will get a summary of your code, but we have to convert it. So we'll write another prompt. Can you convert this code into a chatbot? Make sure you remove only the listening capability and convert it into a chatbot use black color for background gray color for buttons and green color for the bot response and yellow color for user or my queries once we press enter it will take only a few seconds to generate the code we have to just copy this code let us copy this code go to vs code and create a new file from here name it bot.py paste this code here and now we will try to run it once we run it, within few seconds, it will show us this kind of prompt. We will test our query. Okay, we got the response. Now let's try any other query as well. Okay, now let's send. Okay, we are getting everything fine, but you can see there's no end chat button. And I would like to add some more functionality. So I'll write another prompt that add the end chat button and also chatbot should remember the old and previous chat once we press enter it's going to update the entire code and we have to just copy and paste the code here let's run it again and it's showing the end chat button let's try a few more queries what is science fiction okay we got the response let's try another what do you think about ai we got the response here and now let's check if it remember the first question or not okay as per this response it's still not able to remember the questions right and the uh, previous chat we'll uh, try to update this functionality with the chat gpt again so let's close it and write down the prompt again this chatbot still does not remember the previous chat please add this functionality and let's see if this updated code going to work or not so we'll just update the code and paste it here who are you okay what you can do okay now let's check if you remember the question or not or previous chat now let's send okay now we are getting the response which means this chatbot now can remember the old chat as well but did you realize that we have to click manually on the buttons which is not a good sign right for a professional application we should remove this and it should be automatic once we press enter so we'll type another prompt this look fine but i have to press send button manually it should send query once i press enter button and also i can use shift plus enter to add a new line so let's see if this updated code going to work we'll update and run it again so write down any query what you can do and i'm pressing enter okay it's working let's try with another one as well do you know anything about ss so everything working very fine and all the functionalities that I, that I wanted, I added into this chatbot. There is no limitation. You can give more prompts to chat GPT and add more functionalities. Do let me know what functionality you want to add. And if you're wondering how you will get this uh, first code that we analyzed of the Jarvis, I have already provided the link into the description box. You can just go there and copy and paste the code. 
and this is how you can create your own chatbot only in five minutes so if you found this tutorial helpful make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel that's all for today i'll see you in the next one bye bye